Now we'll see what happens when a wave pulse crosses the boundary between two different media. We're once again going to hook up this whole spring across the room. But now, one side is lighter and one side is heavier. So the pulse is not going to travel cleanly across that boundary. We'll see that when it travels from the light side to the heavy side, it's sort of akin to hitting a wall. Whereas when it travels from the heavy side to the light side, it's sort of like hitting an open end. So every time the pulse crosses the boundary from either side, there's going to be an element of reflection and transmission. Which means after a couple times crossing that boundary, there's going to be so many pulses inside this spring that it'll lose any coherence. Here we have two separate shive machines hooked together. The one camera right has longer rods. The one camera left has shorter rods. And we'll observe what happens when wave packets coming from either side hit the boundary. First off, we can clearly see that waves travel much faster through this side than this side. This is, of course, because these rods, having a smaller radius, have a lower moment of inertia. So it takes less torque to twist them. And we, of course, see that there's an element of transmission and reflection, regardless of which side a wave hits the boundary from. 